Hi, today we're going to learn about kites. And we have two different examples here. In the first example, our goal is to find the measurement of angle T. Let's talk about some properties of kites. Um, kites have consecutive congruent sides. They have two pairs of consecutive congruent sides. So like these sides right here are consecutive, they're also congruent. And here's a second pair of consecutive uh, congruent sides. Another property of kites is they have exactly one pair of congruent angles. So since these angles right here are congruent, our congruent pair must be these two right here, one of which is T. That's what we're trying to find. So here's what we know. We know this angle and this angle are congruent. We also know, since this is a quadrilateral, that these four angles sum to 360. So let's call this angle x and this angle x. We can use the same variable because they're congruent. And let's add all this together and set it equal to 360. 70 plus 88 plus x and plus x all has to equal 360. When we combine like terms, we get 158 plus 2x equals 360. Subtract 158 from both sides, and we get 2x equals, let's see, 202. Divide both sides by x. x is 101 degrees. So the measurement of angle T is 101 degrees. In example five, we're supposed to find the side lengths of the kite. This, 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 and this. Now from the last example, we learned that there's two pairs of consecutive sides that are congruent. It looks like these two sides are congruent and these two sides are congruent. Now we just need to find those sides. Another property of kites is that the diagonals, these, are perpendicular. Now, I see four triangles, and it's actually four right triangles. So we can use Pythagorean theorem to find these unknown sides. Let's start with this right triangle here. When we're looking at just this triangle, it's a right triangle with uh, side lengths, the legs equal to 4 and 8. So Pythagorean theorem says we can take the sum of the squares of the, of the legs, and that will tell us what this is. Let's call that C. So 16 plus 64 will equal C squared. 80 equals c squared, so we've got to take the square root of both sides. So c is rad 80, which after we simplify, we get 4 rad 5. All right, that means this side right here is 4 rad 5. And since these are congruent, this is 4 rad 5. The last thing we need to find is this side. Now these are isosceles right triangles because they have congruent legs. So if you remember the properties of a 45-90 triangle, you just take the leg and multiply it by rad 2. So that means this right here is 4 rad 2, which makes this 4 rad 2. You could also use Pythagorean theorem there.